In a groundbreaking demonstration that may redefine drone warfare, Turkish defense company Baykar has successfully tested its AI-driven Kamanx-1 loitering munition in an air-to-air -air combat role. The test, which saw the munition deployed from a Bayraktar Akinci unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, resulted in a direct intercept of an airborne target, an achievement rarely seen in this class of weaponry. This innovation moves beyond the traditional use of loitering munitions for ground attacks, revealing a new chapter in unmanned aerial systems where munitions themselves become defensive agents. The test highlights the growing strategic value of drones that can conduct both surveillance and airborne interception missions in hostile environments. Kamanx-1 is more than just another cruise missile. Compact, jet-powered, and embedded with artificial intelligence, it's capable of traveling over 200 kilometers while autonomously navigating complex airspace. With an advanced electro-optical guidance suite and anti-jamming features, the munition can linger over an area, track small aerial targets, and engage them with minimal human oversight. Baycar's methodical development process has brought the Kamanx-1 through extensive evaluations, including performance trials for autonomous target acquisition, strike accuracy, and endurance under electronic warfare conditions. What makes this recent test unique is its transition from ground-targeted roles to dynamic aerial interception, transforming how drones like the Akinci UCAV are viewed, not just as offensive platforms but as mobile air defense units. This shift places Baycar among a small group of global innovators pursuing loitering air defense systems. While similar programs are underway in countries like the US and Iran, few have matched the demonstrable success now achieved by Turkey. Unlike conventional short-range systems like MANPADS, which rely on speed for interception, the Kamanx-1 leverages loiter time and precise maneuvering to dominate airspace sectors. This creates a defensive bubble, complicating adversarial drone incursions and rotary wing operations. Strategically, this milestone suggests a new direction for Turkish military doctrine. Rather than relying solely on ground-based missile systems, Turkey appears to be building autonomous aerial networks capable of active air policing. With the Akinci platform capable of deploying these munitions in both strike and defensive roles, the distinction between offense and defense is beginning to blur. Baykar's positioning in the international defense market is also set to benefit. The successful test will almost certainly attract attention from militaries seeking cost-effective, smart munitions with multi-mission capabilities. Though formal procurement details for the Kamanx-1 have yet to be released, recent deals involving the Akinci UCAV family indicate rising demand for systems that combine autonomy, versatility, and affordability. This test wasn't just a technical success, it signaled a paradigm shift. By proving that loitering munitions can effectively intercept aerial threats, Baycar has introduced a new layer to modern drone warfare. The implications go beyond technological achievement, offering a glimpse at how tomorrow's battlefields will be contested by intelligent, adaptive, and independently defensive drone systems.